till the first month in January, I went to get the Humalog, which I just assumed was around that $300 mark or less, ended up being $1,100. And I, I literally was at the counter and I said, how much? And they said $1,100 and I said, throw that back. There's no way I can afford that. So I was able to reduce it by using Blink Health at Walmart. I transferred my script there from $1,100 to $360. Now, I was always aware that pharmacies were in business to make money, but I don't understand how you can make $700 off the same drug that somebody else can sell for a much lesser price. This was the first time I really thought about I want to extend beyond 30 days, maybe 45 days. I'm not trying to be reckless, but I just feel like it's, it's almost like survival. You want to just kind of pull it along so you don't have to find that next you know, $800 hit. So I might wait an extra week to get one and by taking a little bit less insulin, not enough to damage myself hopefully, but I'm not taking a full dose, it kind of pulls it along a little bit. So if you go to an endocrinologist who's a specialist and he usually ask you the same questions, but then sends you for blood work and he does this. That's a three, $400 office visit, time you get the blood work and all of that. So it's important for them to know to have to do that. But I said, can we not do this, you know, four times a year because I can't afford it. I think they've also found a way to egregiously sort of extend patents and keep it out of a generic because they know if they just formulate it from a pill to a capsule, they get some 10 more years on a, on, on a you know, patent that they can't get a generic for. So I think they both play the game and ultimately at the end of the day, it's really the citizens who pay the price and you, you wind up with guys like me who aren't, yeah, I'm not poor. I, I don't make a lot of money, but I'm, I'm very middle class, lower middle class. But it's just this financial hit that you take every month and you just kind of go, this is just crazy. It's a small mortgage payment. And I don't know what some people would do. Fortunately for me, I'm employed. My wife's employed. We don't have that one person's not employed or something like that. So we're, I still feel fortunate, even though it's very taxing on our financial situation.